it's out. Link in the description below. Still got a few little issues, but I'll pass them on to XTC. All I can say is uh, treat the car with respect, otherwise bad things will happen mechanically. I'll turn mechanical failures off. That's the other option. Horrible transition through here. Yes, I know we're on that track. Um, don't ask me about it. Somebody asked about it, so I thought any car to put, the, 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 put on this track, it's got a bit of ease. That's got to be this car, hasn't it, really? It may come out, it may not come out. If it does, I will be sure to let you know. But enough of that. The car is um, here. We're on soft slicks. We are doing 200 miles an hour currently down the Molson Strait. And it's terrifying in VR. The car is kicking about everywhere over every lump and bump. Feels glorious, sounds brilliant. And I want everybody to uh, either close their eyes or hold their collective breath. Right, you can breathe again. Stay over there. So, yeah, with this thing, you really have to uh, kick gloves it. Because it will bite you, especially on bumpy tracks like this old classic. Um, it's got that kind of um, C-class feel, but more dangerous, if that makes any sense. Look, couldn't slow down anymore there for you, matey. Wow. So, yeah, um, it is a handful. I'm going to put it in my top three cars for AMS2. I'm going to put the class, I'm going to put that in my top three class as well. All the cars are brilliant in this series. Um, just, uh, yeah. Can't really fault them. They're all very individual. I've got something there to offer all the joy to drive this one is no exception this one just raises the bar even more over the other two but personal preference and uh, yeah all that okay one lap down so I'm flipping on the downshifts, I'm giving the engine a hard time, um, so I'm expecting a water leak. I'm expecting to overheat the poor little uh, lamp soon, especially with that huge Mulsanne straight. Oh yeah, I was taking no prisoners, I don't want to get tangled up in that. that torque monster again, it's kicking the back end out. I need a tow for the next couple of miles please matey. Also one thing, whoever selected those mirrors for the low wind resistance, didn't think about oh they're offset, you just noticed that think about actually seeing anything in them <laughs> but at least we can see, we've got a rear view mirror we can see above the engine behind us yeah. yeah 
down here is uh, he who drafts wins basically but you get to the front of the draft and you've got that problem and I don't think there's enough room there what do you think people can you go from the middle nah wow okay yeah suddenly haven't looked around the outside of me don't know if that's a Ford Ferrari car goes light and starts skipping over that hill. It is the most terrifying thing ever going up the inside. Get me out that Lotus, he's just going to accelerate away. So I try and get some traction. Well, we've got a straight line. You see, I can see the top of the head. So a lot of places on this track you will recognise around here from the uh, new version this is back in the days when this was literally ooh, the uh, a road just the dotted lines down the middle this car is not forgiven of trying to break on the grass that's not a, that's not a, that's not a thing track is obviously quite a lot narrower there's no runoffs there's no widening pavements and all the rest of it so you've got to uh, you've got to be precise the car isn't sloppy in any way sense when it comes to turning in so you shouldn't have that problem absolutely pile around here Right to the edge. Coming back up on the uh, start finish straight. Car moving around a lot on the brakes down to first. Skip through. And here we go. On to lap three or four. The tires look okay. Trying to keep it nailed in third up here is it's doable. Silly, but doable. Can't skip it about everywhere. Got second through here. Ah, lost the back end coming in. Caught it. Big slide coming out. Lots of weird off cambers and rises going through there. This won't just take your time. need to be somewhere near a drafting position on a carry from. That's our length of the gears. So it isn't red lining down here. Well, it does mean I need a bit of a tow to uh, get over 200. I'll put the thing on. We're doing 186 at the moment. Miles per hour. We're currently in seventh. Or 32. 194 we are not redlining you can't see this because it's VR 195 normally I'll be doing about 201 202 at this point 196 I've topped out at about that without a draft may pick up I'm picking up a draft here now okay oh I'm on the grass I'm on the grass no that's not good that's a back out we're down to 182 Despite his pointy looks, it is like a brick in the uh, in the old uh, uh. Ooh. That's a bonus. Completely stalled it. Come on. Stay over it, right? Yeah. You get distracted because you've been down that great big long straight. You come over that hill suddenly you come down to that really tight first gear right hander and then you suddenly arrive at it going um i didn't realize i was going that quick at which point you lock up and spin round, as demonstrated by myself not 30 seconds ago whoa 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 lopes is getting all shapes there I'm trying to find a way around as he's looking up the inside not working 
that Lotus is a little bit more nimble and a little bit quicker off the mark, but doesn't have the top speed. Uh, has more traction, as you can see. <laughs> so I lead foot it out of there. And here comes another little pesky Lotus. It's the sunset. Here. Trying to pick out the apexes. Now then, do I back off just to keep the speed up? Yeah, <laughs> I should have backed off. Breaking early here because I just have a feeling that's not going to end well in front of me. No, okay, thank you. Checking damage, two engine damage. I said you have to be careful, especially on the downshift. We are in the last lap now, so you know what happens. I'm going to put my uh, lights on. No, I'm not. I'll turn them off. Let's try and be. Oh no, 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 I knew as soon as I did that, lifted in the back, just stepped out. The only thing that was going to stop me there was that barrier. What have we done? No suspension damage, engine damage is at two still. We got away with that one. So I think we have a Ferrari here with us now. Yeah, this is very, this is very C-class, um, but, yeah, it's very, it's very C-class, but more visceral, if that is even possible, because C-class is such a uh, experience. This just puts the, the danger up, because there's no downforce. Oh, just caught the grass, don't do that, oh it again. Like I said, it's more terrified, just catching the grass is a life for death moment. We did get a, a draft that time, so we have kept up with them. As we skip over the hill again. This time, Owen, keep braking all the way in. Thank you. And then we can get round. Bit of a sideways action. Engine damage three. Okay, we haven't had a coolant leak. Yeah, you do really need to drive these cars with care. You can't just stomp on them because they will break. Given the age and uh, the fact that they were kind of designed to be right on the edge of the technology at the time. It's not surprising as we get up the inside. Just hold it together. I will applaud that uh, overtaking manoeuvre there, even if it was me who did it. So I will leave a link in the description below. Um, you have to delete the other two cars in the group that were loaded up separately download the new car which has all three cars in it yes keep it now keep it now keep it now oh no okay Ooh, Anybody by the line? No, it's a little skippy little lotus is in front of us. Right, thanks for watching. Go get it. You will not be disappointed. Adios.